Hey folks, welcome back to Duster Bust. The last couple days I've been playing around with this rear bumper on our 74 Plymouth Duster, wanting to reinstall the stock bumper and change it just a little bit, a little bit of modification to trim out some weight and uh, get rid of that shroud that goes around it. So all in all, came out pretty successful and dropped about 43 pounds. So stick around and I'll take you through all the steps. <laughs> It's just, it, it, it makes me laugh how heavy this thing is. Oh. There is what they call the inner bumper here. So another big piece of steel. How this looks, a little over an eighth inch um, plate everywhere. It's just giant. There's trim that goes all around the bumper the hardware and then there's these big old cylinders behind it so this is part of the five mile an hour bumper assembly that uh, basically if you got hit at less than five miles per hour it was intended to, to basically absorb all the shock and and uh, have no damage I want to keep the original look but I want to you know put this whole thing on a diet here there were additional bumpers. Now these are from the front. I don't actually have the ones from the rear, but there were, you know, these additional bumpers um, or bumper guards, I think is what they're called. But these were also sitting on it. 9.6 pounds right here. I don't know what the ones in the rear are, but they're probably equally heavy. All right, let's try it one more time. Won't be too heavy. We might, we might be too heavy. Yeah, 90 pounds. So we're 90 pounds for all of this. Um, super heavy. Super heavy. For a bumper, 90 pounds. And I believe if we had these, it would be 100 pounds. But we don't. So, let's see if we can cut that in half. Well, the first one, that's easy peasy, is these trims, 61.8. All right, very good. So you were originally 58.8, now you're 61.8, which means three pounds. Three pounds in trim, we don't need that. Right, Ori? So I want to lose weight, but I also, just for shits and giggles, I don't want to spend a dime on this. We're using, you know, everything that we have here and we're going to make this work we're just going to modify what we have most of the weight's going to come out of this this backer plate this thing is just this thing is nuts so let's get that let's uh let's start pulling that puppy apart So I think what I'm going to do here is originally I was thinking about using three holes. I think two is going to be enough. So we're going to keep this section and we're going to keep this section. We're just going to basically cut these two little strips out and we're going to see how that works.
Teasingly ugly. But it'll work. Let's give it a minute to cool off. Do a little test fit here. All right, we got our. Uh, all right, from those cylinders, we kept the outer shaft welded it onto here and cleaned off the inner side. Should be a little, should be easy to move back and forth. Same way on both of them. And we're gonna set these up in a high, as high as we can go because we wanna compensate for uh, removing that shrouding. So we want it to look nice and clean. So let's see how this looks. So I was struggling with too much adjustability here. Um, these, the way that it's on a rounded edge, just makes for headaches. So for now, I'm just gonna center it, tighten it down, and then I loosened up the outer brackets that hold the, the bumper face on. And we're just gonna see if I can tighten these down and then we can put it back in place and get it in position with just the. And then I'm hoping we can, oh yeah, we still got a lot of, a lot of play there that we can use just on those. All right, so it needs to go up, but let's bring it out. So we are tacked in here and this adjusts the stick out of the bumper. These bolts are torqued down just because they were giving me trouble. So and these are tightened down too. So now what we're going to do is, so again tacked in over there, so I'm going to pull these and pull the whole assembly out and then I can finish polishing it and cleaning it up. Time to get this thing finished up. So I came out yesterday and I finished welding up my bracket here. Cylinder is welded, so there's no movement there. I, because these are, it's a little weird the way that these are, these are set up. So, I mean, it's easy to slide to one side of the bracket or the other, and I was having a hard time getting the position, so I ended up just locking these down when I was trying to get the position right. Um, and then I was only using uh, these two bolts to kind of finalize the position. And then um, here is where we mount into the frame of the car itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, to, to mount this back, we're gonna to probably, I'll mount it first to the bumper and then we're gonna hold it up and mount it in in the highest position that we can fit it and hopefully it's spot on. If it's not spot on, then we're gonna use these bolts to try to finagle it into the right position. Now, here's where we ended up, obviously significantly smaller than the original. Uh, there's still lots of opportunities for improvement here. So this was kind of like a rev one, what can we do by just cutting and removing without fabricating anything new? This is just, you know, welding, cutting, how do we simplify? Um, obviously there's still more metal on here than we, than we exactly need. Um, you know, we could come through and cut this shorter. 
um, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stick in, but really that, that amount cantilevered in it isn't really helping us any. Um, what we would need to do if we wanted to do this completely from scratch is we need to get from this position to this position. And, you know, the simplest way to do that with uh, the least amount of material would be the optimal. I think this is already going to be a huge improvement from where we were. So, you know, this was the, the first draft of it. So let, let's see how this plays out. Plus, not knowing what the final position was going to be. So we're running it deeper in and higher to make up for not having that guard. And where we had it set up before, I, I actually thought it looked really good. I thought it looked really clean. So hopefully once we get this all mounted back in, we can get it back to that position. And then I'll show you guys where how it looks at the end. So these are done. These are ready to go back on. I did a basic polish. Uh, you can still see the discolorations on here. I mean, it's not new, right? It's it's a 45 year old bumper. This is about ready to go back on. But first, all of these, all of these bolts that were in it originally, I want to clean up at least the back end of it. So I'm going to clean up the threads and put the bolt caps back in. I might even go ahead because they're they're super long now that we don't have that backing plate. I'll probably go through and cut them real quick just for the extra weight savings and. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then we're going to bolt our brackets on. We'll take a final weight and then we're going to put it on. She's ready to go back on. Should just be these four bolts. So, time to do our weight check. All right, 216.2, two readings in a row. We're gonna take that as our, as our reading. I'm gonna take my four bolts and put those in my pocket. 253.6. Let's do the math real quick. I gotta get my calculator because I don't do math anymore. We took over 40 pounds off of it. And... I'm feeling pretty good about it. I like that gap being smaller. It's a touch tight in the middle, so we may come in later and, and jack with that. But honestly, right now, that's I think this is fine. It's even this side versus the other side. I think just the bumper itself might be just a little bent up right there. Um, I think this is gonna be more than strong enough. All right, the stand test. And I'm standing on it. It's a little slippery. And no bends did not give out. I think that's secure enough. Technically, we did compromise the structural integrity. So, you know, do that at your own risk. But I'm feeling pretty good about it. This. I think it looks fine. Some people may not be sure about that, but uh, you know, here you can see where we, you know, we brought the whole bumper back in. I tried to basically line up this edge to be just outside of here, so it contours down, and uh, you know, it closes up this gap here. Otherwise, we'd see an air gap without that shroud. I'm gonna call it good. We're going to chalk this one up as a success. Obviously, you know, we could do more polishing to get it prettier over time, but I think, I think she's good. All right, folks. 
Hopefully you found this useful or and or entertaining at least. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.